Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV with myself, Jack Maguire. And uh, I'll just giving my post-match reaction to last night's uh, 3-0 win for Corksey over Sligo Rovers. I was lucky to be at the game last night and uh, despite the conditions, the heavy rain, it was an incredible game. It was very exciting and obviously Cork City uh, picked up a valuable three points at home. But th the main standout players for Cork City really, Dee Shane Dowling, obviously an incredible player. He, he, he made the breakthrough for Cork City on the 35th minute. He, he, there was a goal kick from McNulty, came out. Kit Elliott, one of the new signings as well, managed to break the ball down. He controlled it and he played it off to Dowling, who made it a run right towards the box and he cut to the right. I think it was past Kyle McFadden and struck it low into the bottom right corner from the edge of the box, which is an incredible goal for him. He's, he's been fantastic this season and well, every, any game he's played, he's been quick and he's been agile and he's just been a great outlet for Cork City going forward. But uh, at nil all in last night's game, Sligo had chances. You know They had several chances early on. Jesse Devers had an opportunity early in the game from close in, just outside the six-yard box, and he put it right over the bar. And that was a great opportunity for Sligo to take the lead. And it could have been anyone's game at that stage. But uh, City held tough. City were solid in defence last night. Joe Oliver was very, very good. And Adam Bennett, they steadied the ship at the back. And they made it They made it easier for their teammates. There was opportunities. There was options coming out of the fence, which was great to see uh, on Long, at Longford uh, on Tuesday night. It was clear to see Oliver wasn't very happy with some of the options his teammates were giving him. But last night, everything seemed to work very well for them. And Kit Elliott, uh, the new signing with Scott Fenwick, were fantastic up front. Elliott had a penalty shot early in the game. Uh, as he came towards the, the goal, he was about four or five yards from goal and he went down. And uh, the referee came in and gave him a yellow card uh, for diving, which it, it seemed like an obvious penalty, but uh, the referee obviously thought otherwise. But that didn't bother City as they went on. They were, they were dangerous for the rest of the half, and obviously Dowling got the goal. But uh, Ronan Cockin was very, very dangerous for, uh, for Sligo as well last night. He was running into channels, he was making options for his teammates out the left and the right. And he was, he's very fast, as you know, and he's, he was incredible getting onto long ball down the wings. And he was making options, he was making space for his teammates and Ryan De Vries and he was making runs and he was playing 1-2 passes and it seemed to work a very good system for Sligo. They were just unlucky not to capitalise on some of the chances they had and it was obviously Cork City who were the, the more solid team going forward. There was very free-flowing attacking football for a full 90 minutes. Cork were very solid, Sligo were solid obviously going forward but just the City were able to take their chances when it mattered. And in the second half, at the start of the second half, uh, Junior came on for, uh, for Sligo, an incredible player. He's proved himself in the League of Ireland that he's a top quality striker. And he came on and he played, he, as soon as he came on, you could tell there was a difference about Sligo. They were a more confident team, they were steadier on the ball and they, they seemed to attack with more aggression. And when he got the ball, he was breaking down high ball at the edge of the box and inside the box. He was playing one-twos with his teammates, uh, making space for them, playing them into space. And for a while, it did look like maybe uh, Sligo would get an equaliser, as that was at 1-0 one, or one nil that, uh, that Junior came on. But uh, it was City took advantage, and they kept pressing high, and they kept uh, attacking. And uh, in fairness to them, they were very solid. They used every man. Every man put in a shift last night. Henry Oching in midfield, Keane Coleman, very solid, winning ball deep in midfield and playing ball up. There was great options for them. Any ball that went up, it was met by, by Kit Elliott, more or less, uh, a lot of times. And uh, Scott Fenwick was fantastic as well. But uh, Kit Elliott, actually, uh, on 75 minutes, he won a penalty for himself uh, at the shed end. And um, he was turning inside the edge of the six-yard box, and he was just clipped and went down. And uh, he dusted himself down, and he stood up to take the penalty. And he uh, cool, coolly slotted into the bottom left corner, his first appearance for Cork City, and scored an incredible penalty. So that was his first goal. That was 2 0. And Ricardo Denanga, Tuesday night's uh, cup hero, he scored 120 first minute winner for City on Tuesday night. He came on towards the end of the game. And as soon as he came on as well, he was very quick. Uh, as we saw it last night, he was running into space. He was making options for his teammates. And he wasn't afraid to take a man on, which was, which was great. Great to see attacking, attacking play like that. And he was making space. He was getting onto ball. And Dalling made a run across the box. He caught in past a couple of defenders and he got space at the edge of the box. And it, it ran, the ball ran away from him and uh, Denanga hit it first time 
first time snapshot into the bottom right corner a fantastic strike and a fantastic goal to follow up from Tuesday night's one so it was great all around the attacking play every every player put in a great performance for City Sligo were a very good team last night as well it wouldn't be fair to take anything away from Sligo the, the scoreline maybe doesn't suggest the, how solid they really were but uh, the City definitely took their chances and they capitalised on Sligo mistakes and that's what ultimately got them the three points. Everyone was happy after the game and it was a, it was a fantastic game to be at and there was a good, a good atmosphere despite uh, the lack of fans in there. But overall it, it was a great game and great to see for myself that uh, Cork City pick up three points um, and, and their second win in a row. So th- that's, that's it for me now for this week. Uh, I'll I'll be back at the cross for the the next action there with Cork City in the next few weeks. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you think in the comments.